So to cover my hair every single day when I go to bed, I use this. It's like a satin lined for On the outside here, you have this colorful African print, which is very beautiful. And inside here is a satin line, satin lined. Ciao guys, and welcome back to Learn This. As you can see from the title of this video, I really finally have time. I'm going to share with you the most requested stuff on my YouTube channel is tips on how to grow healthy, long, natural African hair or Afro hair. Um, I'm also going to share with you my before and after because I had cut my hair two times. If you want to grow long and most important healthy hair, watch until the end. I'm going to spill it out today. Tip number one, moisturize, moisturize and moisturize your hair. Like this is the most important thing because Afro hair, especially 4C hair, which is my hair type, one of my problem is dry hair and when the hair is dry I can't style it, I can't straighten it, I can't put it in twist and things like that. Just moisturize. You need to learn how to moisturize your hair. For me I use shea butter which is homemade. Just give me one moment. So yeah, this is what I use. I just keep it in a, in a, in a jar like this. This is the shea butter that I use homemade whipped shea butter. A little bit. Just like that. And if you can see, I have quite a lot of hair on my head. Also very thick. So this is for example how I just try to maintain moisture on a daily basis. A little bit of hair or a little bit of water and then add shea butter if I have twist, like now I have just this two strand twist facing backward. I just apply that every day when I go to work and then every day in the evening before I go to bed. Guys, if you're talking, if you want to keep your hair moisturized, you know you need water. For me, this is what work and that's how I keep my hair growing fast and that's also how I maintain moisture. You know, uh, you can add as many products as you want to your hair, but I think the really, the best way to moisturize your hair is also to make sure that you wash as often as possible. I know people want to keep their, I don't know, protection style for eight weeks, for 12 weeks, because they feel the hair is growing faster when it's not manipulated or things like that. But for me, the key is really, I try to wash my hair at least every second week or even every week, depending on what style I have. When I have something like this, or three strand twist, it's really easy to wash your hair. So try to wash it every week. It's possible you can also wash the hair while it's still twisted, dry it, moisturize it, and move on. Super simple. Now, if you have 4C hair, I'm also guilty of this sometimes. Sometimes I'm very tired. Maybe you went to the party, to a, a disco or somewhere with friends and you come back very tired. You just fall in bed. Eh, tomorrow when you're going to wake up, it's going to be a struggle because your hair will be matted. Eh, like, it just, it will be very difficult to wash your hair, to comb your hair, and also to twist it. It's also going to be very, very, very dry. So try to at least make sure that you cover your hair every day before you go to bed. What does, why is this important? It does not only maintain moisture, it also makes sure that your style remain in place you know if you are an afro person or if you have afro hair you know that you don't style your hair every single day so maybe you have twists that you want them to last for a week before you wash your hair so to keep those twists in place and in good shape you need to cover your hair before you go to sleep if you don't do that i'm sure you're going to be washing or styling your hair every single morning and that is going to be excessive manipulation and not good for your edges so to cover my hair every single day when I go to bed, I use this. It's like a satin lined for On the outside here, you have this colorful African print, which is very beautiful. And inside here is a satin line, satin lined. So this is amazing. I usually just put it on and it has two adjustable stuff. 
like uh, here at the end to keep it in place during the night and it doesn't sleep off at all like it does not sleep off this is what i use and you can order this from uh, uh simply comfort on instagram or there's also a specific page where she sells this i'm gonna leave that in the description below if you don't have that the simple one that i mean i have only had the setting button uh i've got the setting um bonnet not so long ago maybe a few three to six months ago this is what i use any satin to be honest this is just a normal satin head scarf this is what i've been using i got this for my mom <laughs> long time ago I got it from my mom from Pep I guess like super simple satin you can just put it on your head like this before you go to bed simple tie it in place wherever you want it and then go to sleep now this is for mm, pros like me because I grew up always sleeping with a head scarf this doesn't fall off but I think for people who are just new to this it might not it might sleep off when you're sleeping so the best thing would be to have a satin bonnet Another important tip, which people don't even like this feel like this is like the opposite of what I want to achieve. If I want to achieve growth, if I want to achieve long hair is in the shortest time possible, why do I need to cut my hair? But guys, you need to snip, 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 snip. Like trim your hair on a regular basis. Basically, every let me say every fourth week when I wash my hair. When I put them in twist, if I see that they and they usually some just you know you see some damaged edged, uh, some damaged edge at the end of your hair, so you just want to cut that off. And it's good for growth, and I think for four C hair it's also good in a sense that when you cut those mm, unhealthy edge of. I just have a feeling it's easier to detangle the hair. It doesn't detangle as much as when you have just this damaged edge. And if you like to comb your hair out in an afro, then it look more beautiful when you have it just even. Yeah, so you at least I would recommend it every fourth or every sixth week. Just snip, snip, snip off the I didn't say do a big chop, I just say cut off a little bit of the damaged edge. I mean you also don't want your hair looking like a mess because you have uneven damaged edges. If you want to grow your hair first, I'm sure you want to prevent breakage, you want to prevent excessive dryness, and we have talked about that already when it comes to moisturizing. But uh, breakage, it is very important that if you want to grow fast hair, just know your products, know what to use and what not to use. And like from the beginning, get to know what products wait for your hair. Like in this world where we live in now with Instagram and a lot of YouTube videos, there are millions of products every single day being released, which I think is good because if you haven't found something that you like, there's more to discover. But if you know something that you like and that already works for your hair, stick to that. There's excessive information with all these influencers showing different stuff. Important, just find some product that you know that they wear for your hair and then stick to those. So this is, for example, what I use at the moment. Yes, this is the product that I use. Like a very simple coconut milk shampoo for dry hair. You can get this on a normal store. On a normal store. I don't need to go to an Afro shop to get this. I just get it, I think, in DM or Rossman if you're in Germany. Other countries, I don't know. Maybe you can get it in clicks if you're in Namibia. This is how I keep my hair most of the time. Ali's not here to show. Usually Ali would be doing this for me, but today I'm by myself, so I have to be doing this. And this is the product. Like this is this is how I keep my hair most of the time. This is my favorite go-to protective style, especially at this length. And when the hair gets longer, I skip them to two strand or three strand twist because, yeah. Now, for those who know me personally, I've shared this tip before on Instagram and most people didn't believe me. When I had long hair, like uh, before my wedding, I, I went for three years without combing my hair. And people couldn't believe it. My hair looked amazing, looked beautiful. And the reason I wasn't combing was because I feel like with 4C hair, you have a lot of coils and coils. And every time I was combing, it, me, I, I had to spend like, I don't know, two, three hours in the bathroom. And in the end, when I was done, and I'm being honest, the hair looked exactly the way it was before. It's true. And, and, I, and the end, I was just like, 
at some point I said, it doesn't make sense. Why do I comb my hair? It absolutely, it's absolutely nonsense. It just didn't make sense back in the day and I didn't see any difference. So I stopped and then I skipped to just using my finger to remove coils. If I had like uh, lumps and detangled hair, I would use fingers. And that was it for three years and I had long beautiful hair. I'm going to leave a picture here to be honest. It was absolutely beautiful. So you need to know how to comb your hair correctly. You definitely need to comb your hair correctly. If you're doing it the wrong way, it's that is very detrimental to your hair and to the growth and to the healthiness that you're looking for. A wide tooth comb is the tool that you need. Oh, if you even want to stay away from comb, just use your fingers. And I know some people that have really long, beautiful natural hair that just detangle with fingers. That depends then on the texture of your hair. Combing is also extremely painful depending on how you're doing it. For that, you might want to, um, to skip to using your fingers. I do comb my hair, I would say every... At this length that I have now, I do comb it every time or wash. Or sometimes if I don't want to comb my hair, then I just wash it, then try to, I don't put it in twist because it's too short, but you can use the, I don't know, the bending method, I think it's called bending, something like that, where you just make single strand using a, a string, let it dry, and then remove it, and then finger detangle, or retwist again, and then in that case, you stretch it out. So straighten it or comb your hair correctly in a way that you don't stretch, over, like you don't strain it so much and uh, rip it apart and you don't also you don't want to cause pain to yourself because if you like doing like this all the time it's painful maintaining also you need to be healthy like in terms of nutrients and supplements if it's necessary take hair supplements I do take I personally do take hair supplements I recommend it very much I did not take it however because of the hair it was because my nails were chipping a lot and one time when I went to the pharmacy they told me for this I should take like uh, supplements to make sure that my nails are healthy but I think it's it's not different from the hair if you think your hair or if you see that your hair is just oh it's always falling off I don't know every time you come you have shed off a lot of hair because maybe you didn't do it right or because it's just unhealthy the edges are ruined or anything like that then you might need to take hair supplements I do take I think supplements that I take are cold mm, I'm not sure they're like 100% natural product made out of uh, plants and they are it's for hair nails and skin and even though I didn't take it for the hair, initially I see and I think it also improved hair growth. I see my hair growing very fast and for the first time my nails actually look like normal nails. I think you have seen it in some videos before where I was uh, actually, where I was washing, doing laundry in the village with um, gloves on and I was like, yeah, my nails are very sensitive, but over time I was I thought it's not it's not only sensitivity there was something maybe lacking in terms of nutrients in my body that's why i started taking them and now my nails are healthy and i'm not even using nail paint anymore and they look absolutely normal and okay and strong and i don't use nail gloves anymore when i'm washing so yeah that was it for me today so important if you enjoyed this video guys give us a like subscribe to our channel most important guys always leave a comment in the description below i really love to interact with all of you and i try by all means to 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 respond to each and every comment if you have some question also about your hair i would also like to hear from you the question of the day how do you out there who are watching this maintain hair growth thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video ciao ciao ciao